look, everything's in order. So we have to transfer all the fuel. So the way this fuel works is it has five gas tanks. And you have like a 50, a 50, maybe a 30, a 40, whatever, whatever they are. But I think it, it comes to like 200 gallons. You have to transfer all the fuel from the four, four tanks. It all has to get it into tank one has to be transferred. And it goes through like a two micron filter that really filters it clean. So you're always getting clean fuel in one. One stays good and clean. So we have to, so right now, we pull these floorboards up, show everybody all the valves. We gotta go fuel up and uh, get fresh fuel and everything and uh, get ready to take off because today's Sunday and we're leaving on Thanksgiving, which is what, Thursday. So we'll probably leave Wednesday. We're gonna leave Wednesday around high tide, which is around somewhere between one and three before we can get out of the marina. Because you have to go out, of the, to get in and out of this marina, you have to be at a high tide. So maybe an hour or two away from it. And we'll go up as far as we can to Annapolis, anchor, and work our way down. Something was in there. That thing, it's almost time for a new one. All right, so to gain access to the fuel tank, you have to remove the stairs, and then you lift up all the, all the, all the floorboards. So there's the tanks. You have one tank that sits over here. That's tank two. This is tank one. This is, I think, three, four, and five. And here's the valves that you can pull off of. So like if I want to use tank one, turn it on. And now this is going to suck. This line is going to go, goes over, sucks out of one. If I want to use tank two, it'll go over to, that line goes over to tank two, sucks out of there. But you don't want to pull directly off of tank two. You, It has a transfer. So right here, I can transfer fuel from tank two, run it, it'll run through a filter that's two microns, come around and, and it'll throw it into tank one. So these are, just use these as storage. And then only maybe like in an emergency and you ran these dry and you just need a fuel really quick without transferring, you could probably just turn the two, just start pulling right out of two or whatever. And uh, that way you always have clean. And this, the ginseng. Okay. All right. So to transfer out of two, no, out of tank three, we'll open tank three and then we'll close the engine off. We'll close the ginset off. We'll open the transfer. Now, when the pump pull draws from here, it's going to be drawing. It's going to draw out of two. And, and three the, out of three that goes through the pump and it always transfers into one so there's nothing anywhere else once you turn that transfer it just automatically goes through the filter through the pump and into the into tank one and then you just monitor tank one until it's full let's take this fill stick out and That way, I can hear the fuel going in when I turn it on to make sure it's working. There it goes. There it goes. It took a minute for it to to bleed its pump. Now I hear it. It picked it up. So it picked the fuel up. It's coming out of two. Three. I mean three. And I can 
hear it. Can you guys hear it? I can hear it going blah, 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 like it's filling it right there. So the, what, it's been running now for like maybe three minutes, four minutes. Let's see how fast it fills it. Nope. It's still at that line. I think it's a slow process. I think to fill that tank up all the way, I think it takes like 10, 20 minutes. I don't think it's like a, something that just happens quick. All right, so tank one is full. Now she's full of good, fresh, clean gas. Two is full of old gas, tank two, and we're gonna use it first. And then three is half empty now, or there's 30 gallons. So there's 20 gallons of fuel left in here. So we'll go, we'll go over to the dock, put 30 gallons in. I'm not going to put any fuel in these. I'm just going to run off these three, use up this old fuel. Because this fuel is like eight months old. I'm going to get rid of it and then put all new fresh fuel in. in. I... I'm tempted to put fuel in this one, but if any one of these tanks leaks, I won't have any way to get it out because I, could, I wouldn't be able to transfer it. So I, I'm not going to put anything in this. Once I drop this fuel down and I'm at the fuel dock and I'll maybe be able to spend the night, I'll put fuel in, the, in one of these, see if it leaks or not. If it doesn't leak then everything's good. But if it does leak, I'll be able to transfer it. Look down the bill, there's always something. Like here's another thing, it, ha just, it just happened. We're getting ready to leave. That bilge pump went out. So, I got another one. And it's brand new. It came with the boat. So we're gonna install that in there and get rid of the old motor. We'll have brand new bilge, which we shouldn't need because the boat doesn't leak anymore. That water there is coming from when I cleaned out all the hole. I, I cleaned all the bottom of the boat out and rinsed it out. And the boat leaks some places on the deck a little bit and it kind of seeps down in condensation. So that, that's what that water is. And uh, it wouldn't be that much in there, but I guess the pump stopped working. So I got to replace that. That's an unforeseen thing, but good thing I caught it. So now we're just going to put all this back together, get the fuel, come back, and put the new motor in the bill and take off Wednesday. So that's the video, kind of a little last minute stuff that had to be done. And uh, so I'm glad you guys are watching. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe.